Okay, I'm going to do a hack to a Pentax E50, 8.1 megapixel. Um, it's a nice little camera. It's not the best, but it works fairly well. Um, it'll be a three wire hack. But I'm going to use four wires. Um, I always like to run a separate wire, my focus wire is separate. And we'll show the external in this too. Okay, we're going to remove the screws. There's one above the uh, strap holder. One below it. Two on the bottom. two on the side. Once we have them, I want to open the door up a little bit. And I can separate it. And you have to, there's two catches on the top, so you have to pull that up. And there we have the back off. Now we can pull the front off, and that separates the front cover. Um, if you're doing a build, right now is a real good time, because you can use the front cover as your template. And uh, mark out your case. We'll bring it back on. Okay, now we're just going to peel back the top plastic here to expose this. Now we don't want to touch anything other than what we're going to solder to. So we don't want to short out the flash. I didn't drain the capacitor. Um, so that's where we are right now. Okay, now I use a little bit of it's uh, resin soldering flux from Radio Shack. And I take a little bit of that and I'm going to put it on. Now I want this little point. Here's my power button and off to the power button is a little contact. I want that contact right there. So this way then I tend my wire and all I gotta do I can hold it straight. You solder that wire right there. Now I'm using 32 gauge wire. And I, I'm getting it from TCS. It's www.tcsdcc.com. And you can get this wire 20 feet foot of it. It's really nice wire for doing tough hacks like this because it's not that it's hard. The contact is small right there. So that's my power wire. And next we'll do the shutter. Now over here is my shutter connection. Um, the one on the left, this one right here, is focus. This one here is shutter. Now I'm going to solder a wire to each of those posts. Now what you could do is bridge these two. You could take a little small piece of wire or piece of or a small piece of wire and just um, solder between the two. I like to run separate wires to these. So I have my wire tinned. I put some um, resin paste on those two contacts, and now I'm ready to uh, purple be my um, focus, which is the left one. I'm not being very straight today, a little shaky. There we go. Okay. 
Now I'm going to use white for my shutter. All I got to do and solder that on like that. That's my shutter. Okay, after I have those two on, I can put all this back. Put that, but I'm not done quite yet. I still have the externals to do. Plus, now I can take my front cover and get it on, get it out of the way. So I'm going to put that in there. And it just makes it handling it better. A little easier. Um, the next place I want to get to on this is uh, my externals. You know, I can tuck that away a little bit. Um, and this will be positive and negative. So I need to get a couple wires ready and we'll run our externals. Okay, now I want to. Use a little heavier wire for this because this is my pat battery voltage and I want to be able to charge and use externals. So I'm going to lay my wire on there. Solder that one. And then my negative or common, which I'm going to use for both my external and Try to get this thing in position here to solder. Okay, and that's where I'm soldered to, positive and negative. Now you got a choice here. You can run the, the wires out the top, so I can drill apart here and take it right out the top, or in the bottom. I'm going to take these wires out the bottom. I like my board under my camera. Uh, I don't like the control board over top my camera. So we're going to remove the LCD. I'm going to pull the LCD out of there. And uh, what I want to do now, I'm going to lay it over and I'm going to take the uh, LCD holder off. Okay, if I decide to take it out the bottom, I need to take um, several screws out. The one in that corner, one here at the top. There, pull that one off, one up the corner, two at the bottom, Okay, once they're out, then we can pull it up a little bit, but I'm not going to pull it up all the way. Okay, now I want to bring this up. There's a little catch over by the speaker, so you got to pull this metal out a little bit, and once you get that pulled up, you can 
pull that up. Now I'm not going to take it all the way out. I'm just going to pull this up and bring my wires right around. I need to get them over that ribbon. Wires all over the place. He wants out my wires there. I, I got them straight down through here. There's like a channel there. I can put my screws back in my LCD holder. Okay, once that's done, I can put my LCD back up into place. Now I can figure out exactly where I want to put these wires out at. do is right on that angle I'm going to put a mark and that's where I'm going to run my wires out of that. Okay after drilling my hole I'm going to start threading my wires through. Now if you don't want to run externals just use your uh, common for your ground as your common for your to work your camera on the board this is one of the reasons I like using 32 gauge wire for my camera functions because I can get this wire in around spots tight spots Once we get that snapped together, uh, unfortunately when that came off there my spring went with it, so I like that spring anyhow. Um, so now we're ready 
I mean, try and make sure the wires are pulled out a little bit. Not that you don't want to pull them out, but just make sure they're not stuck anywhere or, or pinched. And now we're ready to put our screws back in. Okay, we're ready to put the screws back in. Hammer's all closed up. Okay, we're all back together. Next process is to check, see how we're, how it all went together and if it works. So we're going to check check the power on. Now I'm going to use my, as I mentioned before, my common for my external is here, and I'm going to use the common. I can use common to run my external and the camera. I just got to splice off of it by hitting it. The camera should power on. And it powers on fine. Um, comes out and everything works. Okay, for me to shutter a picture, I gotta tie my shutter and my focus together. If you remember my white white was shutter, purple was focus. So by touching the common, I take a picture. see a little better and by touching my orange I can turn it back off orange and common turns it back off orange and common turns it back on my two shutter and focus wire tied together takes a picture and like I said when I run my externals I'll run this to my positive for my external and this to my ground then I'll run I can run I can either splice off of this I run from my common from my battery external over to the board for my common for my uh, shutter and my power one. I uh, hope this helps. Um, it's not that bad of a hack. It's a little harder running the wires out the bottom, but I certainly think it's well worth it. Um, if the case would ever fill up with water, you can um, hopefully not lose everything. Um, I'm not the originator of this uh, hack. I think uh, Daryl Whitetail Supply might be the originator. Um, I'm just doing things a little bit different. This is how I hack the camera. I hope this helps.